Hey, howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Gunman Raw. So today we're continuing on from the last video where we did the wet on wet and base coat on this Nissan X-Trail. So QAB is the colour code but today we're just going to be doing the clear coat today. So let's get straight into it. I'm using the Develis GPG. This is actually a recommendation from a subscriber. Um, I think it was John or Nick, yeah I think it was actually Nick Joyner from the UK and he said hey can you can you do a, a GPG gun on your Raw channel or can you use a GPG on your Raw channel and here we are so obviously I put all the base coat and wet on wet and, and, and so there's actually like five coats of a base coat on this by the time you put three coats of the white and then two coats of the towel there's five coats all up um, so I actually gave it a 10 minute bake in between base coat and clear coat and I'm actually going to give it a another five minute bake in between coats of clear just to sort of help any um any shrinking back like it can, because there's so much material there, I sort of want it to shrink before I put that last coat down. Hopefully that will help retain a better gloss doing it that way. But we'll see. It's something that prior to doing all of those soul red crystal resprays, I wouldn't have even really thought to do that. But it actually works really well. So as I say, I'm going to go out and hit bake for just five minutes, that'll be enough and then I'll come back in and put the last coat of clear on right here guys, back to it so as I say, I gave it a five minute bake so that's probably like a five minute bake and then a five minute cool down cycle so it's been ten minutes and um, that's nice and dry I still use a medium reducer So yeah, the GPG, I've actually been using it quite a bit for clear coat lately, but I haven't always been doing videos on it. But yeah, I've been using it quite a lot. And it's really good. So this is a 1.3. So I don't know, it's kind of like it's an in-betweener, like this gun here is a really good gun but it's like it's not quite ultra budget but it's not quite cheap if you know what I mean I think they run in at about like I don't know somewhere from four to four to five hundred dollars I can't remember I um I haven't looked at the website for a little bit but from memory like that's right from memory don't quote me on this I think it was like 450 Aussie dollars would get you one of these with a 1.3 and a 1.8 so when you look at it that way it's actually good value good value for a quality gun It's, um, it's definitely better than the FLG-5. I do love the FLG-5, but the fan is a little bit smaller. This is definitely by far the better gun. But, you know, it's a bit more expensive, so... I guess for those people who don't paint as much as me, it's probably not as important. You're still getting a good gun with the FLG-5. Looking like we might just have enough. Just have enough. Clear. That's a bit of fade out dinner. As I say, that's just a little free free blend just to make sure the, the colour on the bumper looks the same.
it's nice and fast this gun but it's not overloading it so i've been running it at full fan full fluid and two bar or 29 psi Again, one coat of clear is all you need on the inside. That's all I ever do. It's got a nice, smooth, smooth feel to it. This gun. I just feel confident, I can get set into my rhythm, I don't feel like it's going around or... In fact, it was after using this gun for a week, when I went back to the Pro Light, I got a run. I did a Sting Red Commodore, I did a video, you've probably seen that on my main channel. And it was after using this for a week, that the Pro Light was actually a little bit too fast for me. But yeah man, that's what a ripper. What a ripper bloody gun. I nearly swore. I nearly said that I nearly dropped an F-bomb. But um I didn't. So there you go guys. That's actually not a bad job. I think I can like see a little bit of a difference in the colour. I think it's a cut yellow maybe, but it blends all around, blends everywhere. It's it's funny how sometimes the ones that look good on camera look bad to the eye and vice versa, but GPG 1.3 Look, you kind of blend it out nice Nice finishing that clear coat guys All good, all good. Anyway, thanks heaps for watching. And until next time, if you would like to support the show, there's a link in the description. You can buy some merch. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Coming out.